Yes, uh, students, we're continuing with the discussion of a letter to God, the multiple choice questions. And I have discussed uh, earlier with you all the different kinds of questions that would be tested. Now, if uh, I just ask you one question that, uh, why didn't the postmaster tell the truth to Lentro? When he read the letter, right? And uh, he is uh, calling him a bunch of uh, crooks, right? Not only him, but all the employees. And it would have been very disappointing, you know, like uh, if you had been, uh, say, in the postmaster's place, would you have liked to tell Lent to the truth? That why you call in? We help you in the first place, right? So why do you think here that the postmaster did not reveal the truth? Right? Okay. Wait, 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 let me see. Now, the postmaster did not, you can write down if you want to, did not reveal the truth to Lencho. The postmaster did not want to reveal uh, the truth to Lynch. A, was it he did not want to shatter the faith, right? Or was it because he was a charitable person? Okay, what could be the reason? Why not B? Why not B? Because Lynch had Lynch wrote the letter to God with blind faith right? Expecting a reply. Secondly, we do not have any other instance in the chapter which talks about the postmaster's charity. So we are not going to give any answer on the basis of assumption, okay? So I can give you the answer like, yes. Hartik, are you listening or not? Sit straight. And open your notebook and start writing. And you can bring a fair notebook and you show me the work that is done in the class. I'll check that only. I said, you bring a notebook and start writing what is done over here in the class. And you show me that, I'll accept that also. Let's see, I'll wait till next year. Isn't it? Right? We have a Krishan also. Okay. Yes, has a Krish joined the class? Krish has joined the class. Krish is there? Yes. Now I, I have given this, right? So of course it could be A is correct. B is correct, right? A is partially correct and B is completely correct, right? A is completely correct, but we do not have uh, more information about B. So these four options were there. Naturally, you will have to decide which one. And as we have discussed, A is here completely correct. But for B, we do not have complete information. So when it is these kind of questions, right? So you'll be getting uh, something like this also. And uh, naturally from uh, literature, you if you're getting uh, three or four extracts, you will have four assertion-based question also. One from each extract. And of course, yes, as you are reading now, when it comes to multiple choice questions, you have to do very, very detailed study. You should be aware of the meanings also. Learn the name of the writers and the poets, right? Okay. And uh, yes, uh, you have, I, I can give you an extract and maybe I can ask you the meaning of that word. I can ask for an antonym of it. Okay. So I have here, you know, like a few questions for you all, which I have uh, taken from the net. And those who are there in the class, I'll be reading other questions for you. And you can, can you see the screen? Please uh, give me a yes or no. If you uh, can uh, see the screen, is it visible? Yes. Is the screen visible? Yes, uh, Nishtha, can you see the screen? 
Yeah, so she's the only one who responds. The others are all sleeping beauties in the class. Himani, thank you for responding. Right, yes, yeah. Now, the first question. So those in the class, also listen carefully and wait for me to read the options also. They can raise your hand and give me the answer. I'll have one, or maybe like, of course, online students are always disciplined. So I'll ask you only for the answers. Where was Lencho's Hill, uh, sorry, house situated? Sorry. Where was Lencho's house situated? Yes, Krishan, I'm coming to you. Don't worry. Bottom of the hill? Top of a hill? Top of a plateau in a city? Yes, uh, Shantanu raised his hand first. Top of a hill is the correct answer. Absolutely. Now, what was the only thing? I asked you to bring a book source. Open your books. First a paragraph, it is there. Look at it. Look at your books. What was the only thing that the earth needed according to Lencho? What did, you can look at your book here, it's given there. What did it need? A shower, a snowfall, strong winds or sunlight yes krishan turn on your video and uh, give me the answer turn on your video please what was the only thing that the earth needed according to lynch look at your book starts are given first page give a uh, right yes krishan give me the answer you can unmute yourself a shower a shower, right, very good, very nice. Now you can mute yourself, okay? Right, fine, thank you. Correct answer is a shower, right? So what was the only thing? A shower, a shower of what? A downpour, rain, right? Now, where did the, where did Lencho, now let me look at your book here because this is a little uh, pretty question. Look at your books. Where did Lencho expect the downpour to come from? What is the downpour? It's a heavy rainfall. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Let me read the options first. From the north, from the northeast, from the northwest, or from the southeast. So students at home, if you have your book, you'll be able to give me the answer. And here I have my students almost jumping out of their seat with their answer. So it is uh, Dhruv's turn. Northeast, is it mentioned there? Yes. Would you have read this in detail if you had to do your subjective answer? You would have missed out minor details. Now, when we're doing MCQs, we have to. Okay. Now, this one, a very, very common question. Maybe we've done it three times. What did, Le and uh, Amrit Pal has raised his hand before I can give the question also. My God, what intuition. What did Lencho compare the large raindrops with? Yes, Amrit Pal will give the answer. Yes. Which coins? Is uh, silver coins, pearls, diamonds, new coins, silver coins. You can write on the question. I'll be sharing the PDF with you all also, right? So it, the option is not there, no? With it is raindrops is given here. Is it new coins? Read once again. Read once again. Let me have a look at the paragraph, please. Can I? Okay. So. See, from silver coins and gold coins, we have come to new coins. Yes, these aren't raindrops falling from the sky. They are new coins. The big drops are 10 cent pieces and the little ones are five. This is going to be maybe one of the most frequently asked question. And it has three different confusing answers. So if you write coins also, right? Then you have silver coins also. You have new coins also, right? So options are, yes, now who wants to give the answer? Online, silver coins, pearls, diamonds, new coins. Pearls, diamonds are not mentioned anywhere, right? So it is silver coins and new coins. Yes, Shahad? Right, Her Choban Free, first time ever has raised his hand. You're going to show yourself, please, and then give me the answer. Turn on your video, please. Turn on your video. Okay, fine. You can't. I'm going on to the next. Which crop was growing on Lencho's field? Everyone, come on. Quick answer. Corn, barley, rice, none of the above. It was corn. Okay, yes. Hardik, do you know the answer? Okay. Can you be a little politer? I said, can you be a little polite? 
B, uh, yes, her job and PC for lower down your hand. Okay. What destroyed Lencho's fields? Wait for the question. Was it heavy rainfall? Was it hailstorm? Was it a landslide? Or was it a flood? Hailstorm. Everyone got the answer correct? Harshit? Yes, is raised his hand. Harshit, is it correct? Yeah. Now, next one. The field looked as if it were covered in wet salt, locusts, sugar, ice. Because it was all white, because of the hailstones, the white uh, hailstones covered it, think as if it was covered with salt. Okay. What has been written? Read, read, read. Reading is the key to the correct answers. I want you to read the chapter thoroughly. Okay. Now the next one. Lencho compared the quantum of damage with quantum, the amount of damage. I'll share the questions with you. Don't worry, just me. Right? I'll share them. Attack by rats. Attack by crows. Plague of locusts. None of the above. It is plague. Lencho compared the quantum of damage with it. The comparison, it was with locusts. So, and he says that, uh, right, uh, is if uh, the damage had been caused by the locusts, it would not have been so much. What was the only hope left in the heart of Lencho's family? Wait, wait, wait. To write a letter to God, that was the only option? Something happens, we start writing later. Compensation from the government. Help from the Farmers Association. Help from God. There was no hope left. Harshit would like to give the answer. Yes. Yes, Harshit, what, uh, please unmute yourself and uh, you can uh, turn on the video. What's the Help answer? Help from God. Help from God. Yes, very nice. Thank you. How did Lencho decide to contact his last resort? What is a last resort? What does it mean? Your last option, right? right. You have uh, two days before the exam and you're not very well prepared. So studying day and night is your last resort. That's the last option, isn't it? Right? So how was he going to contact his last resort? Was he uh, by, who was the last resort? God. By visiting them personally? Is, is it possible? No. Through a letter? Through email? Through fax? Through a letter? Because, yes, Prishan, I know you know the correct answer. You can lower down your hand. How much money did Lencho ask for? We all know this answer. We know this answer. Right? How much did he ask for? A hundred? A thousand? 10 pesos or 500 pesos? 100 pesos, yes. What was the immediate reaction of the postman on seeing the letter? Wait for the answer. Did he, he laughed wholeheartedly? He cried? He felt sad, oh my God, such a tragedy has happened with this person. He felt empathetic, it can happen with me also. What is empathy? What is empathy? You are you quickly saying is the first option. What does empathy mean? Feeling of? No. Yeah, empathy is, well, like in a simple way, how can I describe empathy? Putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. It can happen with me also. Right? That is empathy. What is sympathy? Sympathy. Someone falls down, hurt himself, what do you say? Oh, take care of yourself, you'll get well, right? And okay, your friend gets less marks and uh, right, see, you have to work hard. You're showing sympathy. Empathy, oh, I know how it feels to fall down from a bike. I've hurt myself too. Don't worry, you'll feel better. That is empathy, right? So empathy is that feeling of understanding, right? Okay, so should we be uh, more sympathetic or more empathetic? In our lives, what should be more sympathetic or more empathetic? Empathetic. 
and you know like we see someone uh, walking on the street a disabled person or a beggar or uh, someone who's in a wheelchair and of course yes we do feel sad we feel sympathetic but in our heart of hearts we are so bad we feel that thank god it's not me we are so bad isn't it yes so that uh, we are sympathetic we never understand what problem that person might be going through it is very very important to be empathetic okay so but what was the reaction of the postmaster he had a good laugh yes he laughed that someone could try to write a letter to god look at the faith look at the courage look at the innocence right and that is what we love about lencho we love his innocence the postmaster was a fat amiable man okay i want answers in a second what is the meaning of amiable what is the meaning of amiable we had a la la long discussion last time rude helpful friendly friendly, friendly. yes amiable you have that per personality you know like of course by looking at someone how can you tell someone is uh, helpful or not by you know you're talking to someone you see someone's behavior you are able to find out that person is rude or that person is friendly right so we can't find out whether that person is helpful or enthusiastic so naturally the postmaster was not rude he was a friendly person okay on seeing the letter the postmaster was moved by lencho's unwavering faith handwriting love for god determination unwavering faith. what does unwavering mean like his unbreakable faith right so uh, jaya is there Ra raised her hand yes yeah, jaya is there in the class <laughs> right i i, I get uh, worried of course oh my god the person is there in the class who's there if this happens it would be very situ uh, scary situation okay i think so she lowered her hand so jaya you got the correct answer it is unwavering faith we were also impressed by his unwavering faith isn't it we like this quality about lencho okay why did the postmaster decide to reply to lencho's letter because he was a good man he felt empathetic to preserve lencho's faith in god or all of the above all of the above, all of the above. yes okay let me just uh, what is did the reply demanded apart from goodwill ink and paper who's going to reply now who's going to reply the postmaster is going to reply what is does he require apart from yes i understand your problem i'm going to help you and ink and paper apart from that what did he require he required lost crop he required money he required god signature Or he required a new seed. Have any any answer? Are you listening? No, we're not. How is he going to get that? Money. Yes. Can he get his lost crop? No. Is he going to get God's signature? No. Then is he going to provide him with new seed? Here, take the seed. Forget about the money. He's going to give him money. Yeah. right so he is there but the reply that he is giving right okay yeah so just to give a blank letter with god sign is it see i heard you you, you get a blue tick is it yes yeah i i see your letter okay fine now we'll wait for me to reply keep on waiting is it that way how much money was the postmaster able to arrange we all know the answer yes okay now what did the postmaster feel on experiencing lento receive the letter when lento must have received the letter what did uh, the postmaster feel he felt contented i've done something good satisfied proud overwhelmed or all of the above yes yeah, so he was there uh, very happy with himself i've done something so good He's satisfied. He's able to, you know, like an overwhelmed. I've been able to keep the faith of a person alive, right? So he was impressed by the unbroken faith, right? Yes. 
why was Lencho not surprised on seeing the money? An ordinary person would have fainted with happiness. Yes, he was too sad to acknowledge it. Oh my God. He had unwavering faith in God. He was an ungrateful man. None of the above. He had an unwavering, because I've written related to God. God is definitely going to reply. Do we have people like Lencho nowadays? Do you think we ever had people like him? We do have people very, you know, like we have people with blind faith here. And there are people, you know, sometimes when you see the determination, when you see their faith, it is people like the postmaster, they come together to help them. Okay, right? Yes. So I, I think so. I'll uh, yeah, stop uh,